One school for all ages. Yes, uh, <laughs> almost. We don't have grades 11 and 12 here, but if they want to do that, they'll have to go to a proper high school. And what classes do you teach? Here I teach everything as part of the Alberta curriculum. Uh, so that's uh, English, arithmetic, um, there is citizenship, which includes history and geography, there is science, which includes physiology, hygiene, and agriculture, and there is uh, art, music, and physics. Those numbers one to three. You know, the numbers on the outside, those actually indicate the day of the month. Uh, so I haven't wound the clock from school year yet, but if it were around, the red hand would be pointing to the seven to indicate that it's the seventh of September. And the Roman numerals are the same. But the uh, long hand would be like that. Yeah. Yeah. Для туши для пера. A lot of uh, Ukrainian children attend this school, but we're actually not allowed to use Ukrainian in the classroom. Uh, by law, English is the only language that we are allowed to teach. That's the case for all of Western Canada. Uh, but something my predecessor did, his Ukrainian is much better than mine. He actually had Ukrainian lessons in the senior room after school hours. That way it's not against the law or anything like that. Uh, you know, most of the children there are illiterate in Ukrainian, so they're only able to speak it. They're not able to read it to write it. So a lot of his lessons focus on uh, the textbook he uses, uh, Bukvar, I'm sure you've heard of it, and, uh, you know, teaching the alphabet and things like that. 